Hey everyone, how's it going? It's Quinzen here and welcome to tutorial number eight. And in this video, we are gonna be taking a look at the next task I have set up for us in Asana. So jumping into Asana, you can see I've ticked off uh, design a footer, so that's been done. And now we're gonna take a look at actually designing a homepage slideshow. So let's jump over to my Photoshop and uh, Basically what I was thinking here was that we have a slideshow take up the entire height of our screen. So uh, basically these footers are not gonna be visible. Uh, they'll be much further down the page. But uh, as the user lands on the page, they're just gonna see a big slideshow with a really awesome image uh, and then some text uh, just to complement that image. Um, and uh, basically what I wanna do is keep with my whole theme here. So uh, I've decided to make this um, website link travel as in a travel website and uh, yeah I think if we get a really awesome travel related uh, image or a bunch of images we'll make that nice and full screen uh, here on desktop and then it's kind of just standard whenever you're using a slideshow on a uh, um, website uh, even if it's not going to be full screen on desktop it's usually standard that it's full screen on mobile because uh, yeah, basically, if you have a slideshow that's uh, kind of only so big on a desktop, like only that height, um, once it goes over to a mobile phone, you have a lot less width to work with when uh, it comes to uh, having text on that slideshow. And sometimes it's just not very visible or it can't all be visible. Um, so uh, yeah, uh, it's kind of standard that if we're gonna have a uh, slideshow on our desktop, we'll have a full screen slideshow on our mo mobile phone as well. Uh, and I think I'm just gonna make it full screen for both. So uh, in order to have a really awesome slideshow, we need some really awesome images. And I have a pretty great uh, free resource for you guys. So. Um, pixabay.com uh, is where I get a lot of free images from, so I'll leave the link in the video description below. Uh, go ahead and check out the website, and uh, what I'd like to do now is just search for travel-related images um, and hit search. And you can see here's the image that I'm using for the thumbnail of all of my videos. Uh, and yeah, there's a lot of really great images here to be used. So go ahead and search for the ones that you'd like to use, and uh, yeah, download them. Uh, so I've already got a couple images downloaded. If I uh, take a look at my find over here, so I've got some images uh, that I think will be awesome to use. And uh, what I'd like to do now is just drag one of these down into my project and uh, use that as my slideshow. Now I think what I need to do here is also create another layer group, call it slideshow and throw that image into there. Uh, and then I'm going to hit Command T and shift and alt and just scale this image up to the size I'd like it to be. Uh, and now you can see we've got a, a few little problems here because my image is going over my header. So I can kind of quickly fix that by just throwing my slideshow below the actual uh, header layer here. And that sort of fixes the problem, but we still need to do a few more things to fix this problem because um, yeah, right now my canvas is exactly the same size as what a computer screen is gonna be. But uh, basically I'm gonna be adding more content to this website, right? I'm not only going to be using this little bit of content. So I think what I'm gonna need to do is lengthen my canvas a little bit. So in order to add a little bit more extra height to my uh, artboard or my canvas over here, I'm gonna have to move over to this move tool, uh, hold that down, change my artboard. Uh, and now I can add some height to my canvas. Uh, and what I like to do is typically work with uh, screens. So I know that um, 900 is the height of one of my screens, uh, but I can actually increase this to be a little bit more. So let's say, um, 900 times by two would be 1,800, right? And now essentially that is one screen size uh, or one size of my screen. And uh, yeah, you can see that um, this is the guide where that screen ends, but my image is actually overlapping that a little bit. So to fix that problem, I'm going to create a layer mask. So I'm gonna go over to my uh, slideshow here and uh, basically uh, create a selection over my image. So let's select all of that with the select tool. And uh, basically just hit this little button down here to create a layer mask and that's gonna chop uh, all the stuff that I don't need off. 
And uh, yeah, uh, that's pretty much my slideshow uh, kind of set up, but there's obviously a few more things I need to do here, uh, like maybe adding in another image. So let's grab another image that uh, would be really useful. And I think um, that little jetty is kind of an interesting one. So let's, uh, let's place that and hit my move tool or use my move tool to just position that um, where I'd like it to be, something like that. And uh, essentially do the same thing here, just select all of this and create another layer mask so that it's not overlapping, all right? Um, oopsie. Uh, let's try and get that image above the other one because I like this image a lot more. Uh, and I think what we need to do here is just indicate in our design that this is a little bit more of a, a slideshow. It might not be immediately obvious. So uh, if I jump over to uh, UIKit's website and I look at the slideshow page, um, you can see that they indicate that a slideshow is a slideshow by actually having these dot navs down here. Uh, and then you've also got the, uh, um, well, navigation on the side menu, but those only appear as you hover over it. So I think just to uh, kind of simulate the dot nav here uh, in Photoshop, what I will do is just create a circle. So let's move over to the ellipse tool and drag out a circle somewhere in the middle of our document while holding shift. And that's going to make a perfect circle uh, and just change the color of that circle to white. Right. And uh, let's try and uh, center that. So that should be good. Uh, it does look a little bit big right now. So let's hit uh, Command T, Shift and Alt and just scale that down a little bit. I think about 30 pixels or 35 pixels is actually the size. Um, and then I'm just going to hit Command J and duplicate that a few times. Uh, and then move one of those circles out here and move the other one of those circles out to the other side, right? And then the uh, two circles on the outside, I think what I can do is just change the opacity to about 60%, so that one and that one, 60%. And uh, yeah, that looks very much like that, right? So. Uh, it's kind of clear or evident that this is now a slideshow. Um, and uh, yeah, all we need to do is duplicate this over to our iPhone screen. So let's move over to iPhone and uh, yeah, uh, basically I'm gonna do the exact same thing here. Let's create a layer for slideshow and put that in my iPhone canvas below the header would be a good idea. Uh, and again, we're going to drag one of these images out and onto the canvas. And I'm just going to uh, hold down Shift and Alt and scale that up to where we need it to be, keeping the uh, image centered because that is the functionality that works uh, or that's how uh, this kind of works in, uh, in UIKit is uh, if you're using one image that's really, really big, uh, when it comes to a mobile phone, it just kind of crops off the sides and keeps the image centered. So as long as your uh, content of your image is nice and uh, in the center, um, it'll still look good. Uh, so basically, you know, don't try use an image where the main content is all the way here on the left because you're not going to be able to see that um, on a mobile phone. Uh, so uh, yeah, that is our slideshow sort of set up. I guess we just need to go over to our bottom slideshow here and we can hit Command J on all those dots and move those dots up to our mobile phone design. Um, and where are they now? Hmm. Let's hit our move, get our move tool here. See, oh wait, there they are. Okay, and move those into position, which will be in the center of the screen uh, and towards the bottom, right? So again, there we go. That's our slideshow set up in the design. Of course, we want those in the right place here. So our image needs to be, oh, oopsie. 
our image needs to be in the slideshow layer and so do these dots. Let's just throw them into that layer. There we go. And so now we can hide and show our slideshow. And again, um, I can do the exact same thing to increase the height of my slideshow or, or of my screen for my iPhone. Um, just go over to the iPhone canvas or artboard, change to the artboard tool and times 667 by two. So let's get my calculator out here. And uh, 667 multiplied by two is uh, 1334. I kind of already knew that, didn't I? So one, three, three, four. Uh, and now we have basically two times the height of our iPhone screen. And this is where we will be putting uh, the rest of the content that we start designing for our website. Right, so now we've got our slideshow kind of uh, set up, but we need to do one more thing before we actually end this off. And that is to actually add in some text and a call to action because uh, you know it is a very pretty image. As the user shows up, this is pretty much all they will see, everything above this uh, this red line. Uh, and you know it's nice to see this pretty picture, but um, it doesn't really say much about the company. So because this is a travel website, we should probably just try guide them into something we're selling, like um, some travel packages. And I think uh, that's exactly what I'll do here. So let's grab the text tool and drag out a block. Um, across the site, make sure that it kind of goes the full width of this container. Uh, and then I'm going to just type something cheesy like uh, <laughs> YouTube, <laughs> your next adventure awaits, you know, uh, just something cheesy that gets them to uh, uh, click on the button that I'm going to put underneath this. And uh, yeah, you'll notice that I have chosen some uh, text sizing here. So uh, basically I've gone for the Roboto font again, which we're gonna be using all over the site. Uh, I'm using light instead of thin. And we have a two, 52 pixel font size, as well as uh, if I actually look at my uh, text settings here, uh, I need to change the line height here to 64. And uh, yeah, the way I'm actually getting these sizes is if I go over to, um, UI kits website. So uh, if you look under the core tab and if you look under base, you can see the size of what a normal heading one looks like. And if you right click on this and inspect element, uh, the font size is around about uh, 36 pixels um, with a line height of 42. And I find that that is a little bit too small for our slideshow. We actually want to have some bigger text here. So if you go over to UI kit and go to utility and then scroll all the way down the page, um, they do talk about having a large heading by just adding this text uh, or this class UK heading large to your text. And uh, that allows you to have a really big heading kind of like this one. And now what I'd like to do is uh, uh, create a button underneath it that just says, uh, view our packages or um, I don't know, <laughs> I'll think of a word while I create my button here. So let's just drag out um, a rectangle here. Um, and I think the sizing for that can be a little bit confusing because it might depend on the size of the text that we have in here. So let's, uh, let's try and make this around 60 pixels in height by around uh, 200 in width. Um, and uh, yeah, just try and get that centered properly and pick a color. Um, so I think what I'd like to do is go over to my browser and I'm going to type in material UI colors. Uh, so this is a website that I use sometimes to get some colors. And I think, uh, yeah, what I'd like to do is use this material blue. So I'm not going to be using uh, UI kits standard, uh, standard colors. Uh, uh, we will be opening up the customizer and customizing some, some colors in UI kit to uh, actually make use of this blue. So let's uh, take that color and uh, bring that over here and actually use that color. Oops. Use that color for my button. If I can. Uh, Come on, where usually when I click that button, I can use a color picker. Paste 
Alrighty, so that's our blue setup. Um, and I think what we need to do now is just add in a little bit of text here. So let's drag out some text and maybe just change our font size. Well, I don't know, do you think I can use it as 52 pixels? We'll see. And then I think I just need to pick some uh, some cheesy text here with, for the button as well. So um, travel now uh, as the text I think might work quite well. So let's just increase the uh, size of that some and put that over our button. And uh, yeah, uh, definitely need to change the size of this to let's try 36 um, pixels. Right, and uh, I guess we can get the button button sizing correct um, as well. So let's just try make that a little bit higher and a little bit wider, something like that. Right. Okay. So that is uh, basically the slideshow for our desktop setup, and uh, we can basically move that text over and put it here on our mobile phone. So I think what I'll do is just take those two layers, hit Command J, and try drag them up over to my iPhone canvas. Um, and uh, yeah, they're a little bit lost right now. So let's put them in the slideshow layer um, and hit the move tool here, see if I can find that text, where did it go? No, okay, that was the button. Okay, I only cop copied the button over. Uh, let's try see if we can put the button there and go back here and try get our text tool as well. So Command J and try move that over to our iPhone layer two and position that correctly. So. Um, yeah, I think for our phone, it's going to have to be over multiple lines. Let's just adjust this text tool to be the correct size here. Your next adventure awaits. Boom. No, wait. Yep. Okay, cool. Right, so I think that that looks pretty good. And uh, yeah, uh, this is pretty much the same functionality that is gonna happen with UIKit, um, is that uh, once our uh, slideshow gets down to a mobile phone screen, uh, it's still going to stay full screened and the text is just gonna start wrapping down. Um, and yeah, we're gonna have that exact uh, same text like that. Your uh, next adventure awaits. I uh, just realized now I spelled adventure incorrect, but hey, uh, we'll leave it as it is. But before I end off the video, I just want to send a huge shout out to these guys. So these guys are my patrons who pledge $5 or more every single month on Patreon. And that goes a long way to helping me make more videos for you guys more often. So if you'd like to help me make more videos, uh, go ahead and check out my Patreon page. The link is in the video description below. And I will also leave a link next to me at the end of the video. And uh, yeah, I'd really appreciate your help. And of course, if you can't actually help me out financially, then just go ahead and hit that subscribe button, leave a like, leave a comment, let me know that you loved the work that I was doing here, and I'll see you guys in the next one.